Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to do a shaker card. And this is the card we'll be making. You can see the, they, look, they are supposed to resemble leaves, but they're actually stars. So we have it in this format. And if you mess up or you just want to do it this way, you can also do it sideways. Let's get started. I'm using the framelits of the words, or it's a window window frame, and I'm also using the Happy Scenes stamp set, and it does come as a bundle in the 2015 catalog. Uh, this is uh, the stamp set that we'll be using. First of all, I'm taking my silicone pad and putting it down. I've already cut out my frame with the framelit on the Big Shot, and there are little ridges here. I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but the, these little ridges are the outside. So I'm flipping it over and using my adhesive and just putting it on the, in, the outside edge so that the inside edge doesn't have the sticky right on it because it will leave it onto the window sheet and you can't get it off. And the silicone pad helps so you don't have sticky all over everything. Okay, see, so this would have been all over your paper and it just comes right off. And we'll take our window sheet, cut to the same size or a smidge smaller, and just stick it on there, like so. And that's how we'll have our window. I'll have to trim this off. The next step is putting the design on the inside. I just have a, a piece of paper, a piece of cardstock, and I'm using the uh, stamp with the fall theme on it, early espresso, stamping it, and just about there, about halfway. Then I will be coloring in, wait, first we're going to um, sponge it so we can have our shading and I'm using Sahara sand for the ground I'll just sponge that on there like so the next one I'm using saffron so saffron don't have to be exact on this and then the next one I'm using tangerine paint And you just want those to blend, the yellow and the orange to blend together. Okay, that's all it takes to do the shading for that. I'll next color in the pumpkins in pumpkin pie. Nothing fancy. Just go right over the top. Then I'm taking Cajun Craze and just coloring these leaves. It's basically just a dot. You can do various colors, but it really doesn't show. So I'm just kind of dotting these in there. Okay. And then I took some fun foam pieces that I had previously from our other pro one of our other projects. And the fun foam has an adhesive on the back already. Then I took our tear tape and put it on the other side of it and cut, just cut out these strips. So I'm taking these strips and putting it on the outside edge of this image. Oops. And I just put that all the way around. And the key to this is making sure that you have the, um, there's no gaps in between the these foam pieces because otherwise you will have pieces falling out of your shaker. So this one we have to cut a little bit. And stick that in there. Okay, and then the last piece, cut it right there. Okay. 
The next step, what I found works the best, is punching out our um, stars. You can use anything. I have used glitter, and the glitter tends to, um, or not glitter, sequins. When I used the sequins, they stuck to the side of the foam, and it really wasn't quite as effective as I wanted it to be. So I'm using our star border punch, and we're punching some saffron. Some Cajun, Cajun Crazed, and I'm doing one of the Old Olive. And that's all we need for filling up our, our little sheet, or our little uh, frame. So now I put these in here, and I do this before I take off the adhesive because otherwise when you try to pour them in, they stick to the sides. So you just stick them in the center, then you'll peel off the tops of the adhesive. And again, this is with the tear tape. It likes to stick pretty well to the foam. And the key is to not let it bounce around too much. So we'll get the top and the bottom. This part takes the longest. And it likes to bounce around for you. Just warning you in advance. You could also use strips of your dimensionals. You could cut, cut them in strips on the sides, along the sides, and use that. Um, there is also foam tape on the market that is two-sided, and just use that. But since I already had the foam tape with the adhesive on it, I thought this would be the best way to go. And as you can see, these stars like to jump out. I'll just stick those right back in. And they like to stick to the sides, so I'm trying to avoid that. Okay. And then kind of flatten it out a little bit. Take our window and just set it over the top. And that's how we make our shaker frame, just like that. And it just is, is uh, plain on the back. To complete the card, I'm using Soft Sky. I have these two pieces left. I'm using Soft Sky, and I have the hardwood punch, or not punch, hardwood um, stamp, background stamp. And when I use the background stamps, I leave them flat like this and I'm using taupe, tip top taupe to ink it up. Take our piece of cardstock, put it on the top to set it down. This is one way of doing it, uh, using a piece of scratch paper and just rubbing it. Take that off, you get all the excess on your scrap paper and there you have it. We'll glue this onto our card. And then you can use just regular snail to attach this, or you can um, use the fast fuse. I don't seem to have it readily available. So we're just going to put this on here. I've already stamped the sentiment. It says, thinking of you with a grateful heart. And you could sponge this a little bit so it kind of has a little rustic look. And then we'll just attach this with snail. And then the finishing touch is a bow, um, a twine bow. And here I have one. And I again, I take the glue dot and sort of roll it onto the knot so that I stays or so that it doesn't get all over everything and that's it so have fun with your little shaker cards thank you and have a great day